What be this? It's a thing. It's a big thing. Is she right? Where's the period? Do you guys not use periods in, in Egyptian? I mean, Azerty? Azerty land? You have to shift for the period in the Zerdi land? Oh my gosh. Well, this is my first time typing on. I, I poo on these Azerdi machines all the time because they're not, they're not from around here. But it's not too bad. The hardest thing to get uh, acquainted with is the moving of the A to there and then the M. I'm always looking for the M and the A on the home row. But everything everything else is fine. And then that period key on the, on the shift, it's rough. Oof. You don't want to do that too often. But this machine came to me courtesy of a friend from Belgium. And they sent it to me out of the kindness of their heart. And I, I couldn't be more, more pleased with that, this outcome. It had some issues that needed to be resolved really quickly. Like the, the, the ribbon lifter and then and this and it's just the other than that it's a good machine it needs to be deep cleaned but it's complete which for an erica 20 uh, that's that's a good that's good enough for me a complete erica 20 uh, because I, I have another erica 20 there's that erica 20 i've had that one for for a year and th that one works fine too it's right here it's an actual QWERTY machine. It's a QWERTY machine from the Netherlands. But it would be an ultimate... You could use it for American use, ultimately, if you were... Uh, because it's pretty standard. And they, they, they match up with us well. And this machine, the carriage, it has magic margins. And the left magic margin was broken out of it. And to find parts for these things are just... It's impossible. You can't do it. Well, I, I guess it, it can be done because it has been done. We've, we've got a, a good machine here. You can see it has these like slider things that zip over and lock. And th that, that machine, it, it, it was broken. They're super fragile and they're easy to break. But now I have this one and I have the case, which is great because I've never even seen it. Erica 20 case. This thing is giant. Like, if you think the Voss SK32 or their ST32s are wide, this thing is beef caked. But I'm going to do a full disassembly of this in the next coming video tutorials so we can kind of get an idea on how to strip one of these babies down because it is a friendly machine to play with. Look at that. It's got double, double taps. So when you type it, jumps two spaces like, like the other big guys here's your tab settings and it's got like a princess style window they're like "Ooh, princess we like the way you do your thing but the princess one is like a push button like this and man i would not want to have to service one of those push button things because whoo there's like a thousand thousand and one fun parts in the princess thing just to just to switch the the ribbon lift but it seems pretty stout i've got a couple of them here there they don't seem like they have much problems. But other than that, it's a regular Erica. It has a plus minus touch control. This is to release your thing from the case. It's got a quick detach everything. So you can squeeze these uh, closed pins. We'll pull that cover off really quick. It's got levers on the side back here. Zoop. So you can pull the carriage off. But that'll be in the next video. We'll do a full disassembly of this to, to get it ready for, for its new life and what it, what it has planned for us. So keep watch, guys. This is a cool little Erica 20. You don't see many of them around. They're fantastic machines. They feel a lot like the Erica 10. It has a little bit easier touch, but the throw is still pretty long. But it is lighter. It's a lighter throw than the than the, Eric, the other Erica 10s, but it is basket shifted. 
very nice, very good. The only thing that, that I consider this a down downfall of this machine is the carriage arm to like, to do a full single space, you gotta go like 45 degree angle just to get that. And it just, it feels weird. It feels like you're, you're going too far for that, that push to get the, the carriage advanced. And then when you go up to like four line spaces, I mean, you're going all the way, all the way in. Anyway, those are just nitpicky things for an otherwise near perfect machine, super simple machine. And this one, I thought this was like somebody, it had like a chip and then somebody circled the chip like, oh yeah, we gotta keep, keep track of that. But what it looks like is that these are the layers of paint that this machine had. It started silver, then it went a dark brown. Like that's probably the primer coat. And then this brown is what you would normally see it on. And then somebody actually painted it this cool teal color and then somebody's like, nah, teal, that's that's not not bland enough for our beets, beets and vodka. So they put the, the brown back over the top of it. They should have just left it the teal. Would have been cool. I bet you could sand most of this off and get teal. But I digress. It'll be a, another color eventually, because you know how I do things. All right, guys, long video short, and we'll talk to you later.